Hello everyone, my name is Arturo, but you can just call me Mr. Unemployable. Our featured match today, the season finale of the Indian National Football League against Aizal. And it's Aizal versus the league champion East Bengal. An eight-point lead over Salgaukar. That's a pretty, uh, we still got a game in hand, too, so we could open that even further. Eight, nine, or eleven points of our nearest rival would be pretty solid, pretty good, uh, pretty good year, must say. Only three losses the entire way through. That Mohammedan loss, the, uh, real outlier of the group. Not exactly one that I'm gonna be throwing down into the record books. What I will be throwing down into the record books, though, is this fantastic performance. Uh, it's... What more can you say? This season has been nothing short of sensational. Getting to, to fourth place in the Club World Championship and the piles of money that that brought in, pretty good. Got to the East Playoff and Champions League, not too bad. Won the Durand Cup, won the Super Cup, runner-up in the Federation Cup. We won Confederations Cup last go-around, we're the defending champs. We won the Football League, and we just won it again. The game counts this as a quadruple. One, two, three, four and back-to-back -back titles. So if there were any doubt that I have taken East Bengal to the pinnacle of where it can go as a club, I think we've pretty much proven that conclusively at this point. I mean, let's just take a look at the, uh... Yeah, like that, that's, uh, that's a lot of winning going on here. I get hired, and then we got uh, Cup Runners Up, Cup Winner, League Champion, Cup Winner, Cup winner, cup winner, cup runner-up, league champion. I mean, what more do I have to say? I've comprehensively conquered India, which means I do think that it's time to leave. So, Mr. Unemployable is going to do what makes him unemployable and refuse to sign a contract. Question is, where would I go from here? We've got an opening on Australia for a director of football. I guess I can't take that. But Turkey's got some spots open. A Korean? Wouldn't that be a jump up? Could go back to Indonesia, though I'd rather not. And China's always an option. So we will see. Those are all good options. I would certainly, I would like to not go to Indonesia again if I can help it. I like to think I've done my time there quite nicely. But I wouldn't say no to China, Korea, Turkey, or somehow maybe even Australia. But we'll just have to see where it goes from there. So as we approach the end of the season here, let's look at how the squad has done over this season. Well, Ranty Martin's 40 goals across all competitions. He shatters his own record in the process. Also beats his own uh, scoring record in the league. Ranty Martin's the record-setting phenom. Truly a legendary player in Indian football. Uh, just absolutely stellar player. And I'm so glad he's on my team. That's 40 goals and 46 appearances. 10 assists to his name. 7.47 well, amazingly, he still the highest rating on the team. That goes to Pinto with a 7.68. Yeah, I, I think I know how to sign players to a uh, Indian football squad. So at least I got that sorted out. That's how we do it there. Uh, two goals and six assists. That's a low assist count for the the engine of our midfield in Pinto. But he's he's getting it done where it counts. 27 appearances across all competitions. Very, very good indeed. In fact, it's good but I didn't vote for him in any of the awards. <laughs> Not a single award did I vote for Pinto for. Let's see if I can get into the uh, voting overview here. Uh, award voting. Here we go. All right. So, uh, player of the year, sweep. It's going to be Singh, Martins, or Didica. And I voted for Ranty Martins because you kind of have to for that record-setting performance. The Robin Singh being the, the setup man, very good shout for will, And Didica has been sensational on the wing. Uh, forward of the year, well, again, obviously that's going to be, uh, Randy Martin. Sorry, Robin Singh, but Randy Martin is just killing it. Uh, midfielder of the year, this one again, I could have made a very good case to give that to Pinto. Uh, Didica, though, I, I have to reward him. He has been just a rocking, I don't think he gets the respect, really, that he deserves, so voting for Didica as a winger or midfielder of the year hopefully helps him there. Strangely, Defender of the Year, none of my players ended up there. I don't know why it's not showing them here, but none of the uh, of the East Bengal backline got there, which I suppose is a uh, which I suppose is accurate. I mean, Love Dale Kuchukwa and maybe Debjit Bose were the only highlights on that backline, so that makes sense. Uh, Nabi though was my vote for Football League Defender of the Year and Goalkeeper of the Year. Well, obviously I'm gonna vote for Arindan Batasharya, but that's still. <laughs> 
that's a pretty solid bank. Four of five uh, categories. You'd think we have players locks to rock that thing down. Oh my goodness, I'd love to see us uh, pull that down. But again, for one thing at a time here. A uh, quick check in on the board status. We did manage to convince him to give us another coach, which is good because we were having some complaints that our tactical training was not up to snuff. So, that has been taken care of. We have brought in another coach to help us. Uh, Yanwar is our new fitness coach being brought in. Actually, well, again, I say fitness coach. He is just a normal coach, but I brought him in specifically for that fitness training so that we could free up other people to cover everywhere else. Now we're seeing much better distribution of workload, which should hopefully help this team going forward. Again, I don't plan to be here much longer. So hopefully as they go forward, that will be fine. And now when you have this much money in the bank, when you keep doing this much winning, you're obviously going to draw some attention. We are under the threat of a takeover. So fingers crossed that uh, all goes well. Free Spengel going forward quickly here at the schedule as you can see we pretty much just ran the table going home uh we did have that loss to muhammad and again i said it was an outlier it was a very embarrassing one nil home outlier loss however uh we did clinch the uh we did clinch the uh, title with two matches so that bengaluru match basically won us the league had our celebratory victory lap at home in front of mumbai and a 3-1 win is about what we deserve. Ranty Martins with the hat trick is again. Ranty Martins MVP. We go on the road to Aizawa before finishing our Confederations Cup run. It'll be against Yangon in the second round. We can pretty much count that as a win. Again, 1-20 to 20 favorites. We'll take that as written that we win that one. And we'll be going on to the next round. At which point in the quarterfinal, we will draw either Lokomotiv Tashkent from Uzbekistan or Mazia from the Maldives. I would love to get the Minnow in that case, but really, at this point on our side of the bracket, it's pretty much Minnows across the board, with the exception Singapore team could give us some trouble. Perisipura maybe could give us some trouble, but that's about it. We should, because we're on this side of the bracket, we should be pretty darn good. To get through to the final again, if not win the whole thing outright. But before we do that, we have to play today's featured match against Izal. This is pretty much just a victory lap. As I mentioned, we've already won the whole thing. The goal is just to get through this thing without injuring ourselves further. And it's a pretty standard lineup going down the line here. It is an away match, so I could even take a further break and play, like, for example, uh, Super Shackle Borti could be playing Sam Jingan. Uh, Mamano Singh could play against Didika, but uh, no, we're just gonna we're gonna go with what we got here. Go with what got us here. Uh, also get some Mohammed Hussain. Now he's back finally from his injury. Let's get him some minutes. Hopefully recover all that development time that we lost. Get him up to a single star would be nice for his career. First things first, though. You've got to be favorites. You think? We kind of won the league, and they're not gonna stop us. Nothing is going to stop us at this point. All right, boys. Finish off this season in style. It's what I want to see. Go into that Confederation Cup match on a high note. That's the game plan here. And the game plan is off and away. I think the replay system I have not turned back on from... I've been going more and more on only commentary between matches just to speed things along. And I found that I actually don't mind. I don't, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. I do miss seeing the play, uh, you know, develop as it does when you're in extended mode. But if you really need to, you know, skip ahead and get an episode out on time, which is something that I have been horrible at, you gotta go commentary mode. Oh, Robin Singh! Showing his strike partner that he can do it too! Robin Singh with the belter from distance! Ranty Martin's the set man that time. Normally you'd see a 1-2 player and Martin's go on the run and Robin Singh says, Nope, I'm gonna have it myself. Thank you very much. 1-0 East Bengal. And we're already off to a flying start here. Eyes Owl not in for a good day at the office, methinks. Long ball there from Didika. Ranty Martins will try to get there, but Umwanke will beat him to it. Ranesh. And for Singh, Didika gets there first. Pinto. Nice ball for Robin Singh. Gives it away. Toy Singh gives it right back to Pinto. Martins. Sick there. Nice cross! Header saved by Ranesh! That was a great save. Right place, right time for the keeper. And Martins could have and should have done better with that header. Got to credit the keeper. 
Made the save when it counted. And Metabo saying already on a yellow. Not a surprise there. And but a Shariad as well. Make himself big in the right place, right time. First shot of the game for Aizawa, and it's on target and a clear-cut chance to boot. Pinto. Martins. Singh. Tries his luck again from distance, and Ranesh has to be sharp. Or sharp. Has to be sharp. I swear I know how words work, folks. I promise. But Singh was sharp there. Problem was, Ranesh was sharper. All right, we go into the breakup 1-0, which is not too bad. Would expect a little bit more. But I will take it. In fact, we're not even going to risk Ranty Martins here. We're just going to put uh, put Kingsley on Manike. And let him see the half out. Because again, ooh, injured player. Well, let it never be said that I am not an opportunistic jerkwad. And look at that, he's already drawn cards. Good job, Kingsley Amanike. It's nice, too, that we have Amanike. I mean, I am so, so fortunate to have the talent that I do. When Randy Martins finally decides to call it a career, we have Kingsley Amanike right behind him, ready to pick up the scoring load. And you wouldn't bet against him to do so. So, uh, yeah, the, the succession plan at East Bengal is already in place. Midfield a little bit shakier. But, uh, again, talent is what talent is in this part of the world, so... Won't get too upset about it. Shingan's header. Oh, That's a nice header from the central defender. Only his second in the season. Set pieces have not been a strong point for East Bengal all season, but that one certainly looked good. Didika, Shingan. Oh, Well placed, too. Man on the post has no hope of stopping that one. 2 0 for the Red and Gold Brigade, and Toysing will actually get subbed off after that one. It's by there by Debjit Bose. Jetri. Pereira. Can he get something going here? No. Blocked by the defenders that are swarming the ball. It's scrambling there, but it got the job done. Didika on defense there. It's weird he's listed as being a more proficient defensive winger than winger, which is what I have him as, but his marking and tackling skills are not exactly top drawer. Much like that shot was not exactly something you'd want to put in the scrapbook. Bos, Sichter, Pinto, saves, Bob Dika just can't get there. Lalenkima was quick to make sure. Sichter has been, I gotta say, considering the injury problems that we had for our wingers early in the season, Sichter has actually been pretty good for a youngster. Again, he doesn't project to be much better than he is now in the future, but he has been very serviceable. But Asharia, sharp there. Uh, he's been very serviceable in the matches that I played him in. So Sikter very well may have gotten himself the development he needed to be a, perhaps a role player in the league going forward. We'll have to see. Didika. Amanike! He got his head to it, but he could not make the placement count. Right, I think we'll take off Metav Hussain here. I don't need him getting a red. Putting our position in question here. So we'll bring on Lingdo. That is our short-term succession plan is Lingdo over Hussain. But I still need somebody to replace Lingdo. I'm a Nikkei unlucky there. I don't think he's going to go posting in. Sadly, it's posting. Oh, Jingan! Also trying to get one in there, matching his uh, defensive partner, but sadly was not meant to be. All right, I think at this point, uh, we sub off Didika. Keep him fully fresh for the Confederations Cup matches upcoming. A 
And Bucha now on the run. He's got a target in the center. It's a marked target, but if he can get something off here, deflects back to Lobo. Bengai Sho. Lobo. Lalenkima. Bengai Sho. Butia. Pereira. Wide. All right. Asain. More for his fitness than anything. But it gets Didica off the field. Less chance he gets an unfortunate injury. Sichter. Could do better there. Bargav's shot is blocked. Robin Singh. Pinto. Lindo. They just hold possession here. No urgency at all, really. And can you blame them? They just got to kill this game off for the next 15 minutes. Lindo. Singh. Oh, he's trying for two. Robin Singh, he's, he's got eyes for goal. And can you blame him? Strikers are paid to put ball in net. Or in Robin Singh's case... Make sure somebody else can put ball in net. Either way, he's doing his job. Four clear-cut chances listed for Aizal. It's going to be a very, very underwhelming performance by them. You must be more clinical with your finishing, especially in front of a team like ours, who can get two goals on five shots on target. Please see earlier comment, re-being clinical with finishing, to see why I'm unhappy with this 11 off target. Still, as we approach injury time here, almost played all two minutes of it. There's no question here who the victorious team should be. Sichter tries one more cross. It's not very good, but the season certainly was. East Bengal finish on a high, a 2-0 win. That was a good win. He got the job done. A very nice 11-point gap. Now, Lejong could still, if they get a win, close that down somewhat. But the point is, we got the win we wanted. We have absolutely, comprehensively won the league. And now, we move on. So, next time on Mr. Unemployable, one of three things will happen. Number one, we will go to that quarterfinal match in Confederation Cup, because we're going to count this as a win. Number two... We lose this match somehow and we summarize the season and the cup as a whole. Or number three, I get a new job while this is happening and we go to my brand new team. One of those three things is going to happen next time on Mr. Unemployable. My name is Rotaro. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell your friends about these videos on YouTube. And don't forget, Every single one of these episodes is recorded live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Turo is where you can join in and make fun of the fact that I misspoke and did not pronounce sharp properly. Oh, that's going to haunt me for a while, isn't it? But until next time, my name is Turo, but you can just call me Mr. Unemployable. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.